The fight to bring back Melbourne's tram conductors is on, 20 years after the infamous tram blockade that marked their demise. Spurred on by the Mikey debacle, former Connies point to other cities where conductors still ride the rails. Any tickets, thanks? Peter Rowe doesn't just sell tickets. He's part crowd control, part customer service, part comedian. But his job title's conductor. Working on the tram is the best job I ever had. He's one of more than 100 driver conductors who man Adelaide's fleet of 17 trams. And meeting the soccer-mad Connie often comes as a shock to Melburnians. They are surprised, especially Melbourne Victory supporters, if they get on the tram in the free zone, I'll be sure to charge them a few dollars when they get on. While Peter's a novelty for visitors, disabled passengers like Noel Goddard say his work is essential. It's just knowing that you've got someone there who can help you get access to the tram when you need it. There's a benefit for the government too. Adelaide's Connies have helped keep levels of fare evasion among the lowest in the country. It's 20 years since the Great Tram Blockade saw our conductors fighting to save their jobs. Eight years later they were gone. Now former Connies say Melbourne's missing out. We miss out on that human touch, so there are a lot of characters on the tramways that assist people boarding on and off, they give assistance to fare structure, they tell people where Victoria markets were, where the G was. The fact is returning conductors to the network would be an astronomical expense. But proponents say it would cost much less than the $1.3 billion spent on MyKey. Assuming a salary of $70,000, that money would have employed 500 conductors for 37 years. The con job has been that we were expensive compared to machines. That's blowing out. We're cheap, cheap, cheap. Andrew Lund, 7 News.